Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. We are going to start a new topic called as Recycle View in Android. If you have been doing Android development, you would have heard about this particular API for creating the list view. So the natural question is, how do you use a Recycle View to create a list view? And what is the term Recycle here? What happens to the base adapter which was there earlier in Android to create the custom list views? And also, why would you use a Recycle View over base adapter? But instead of directly diving into the Recycle View, we will go to the very basics and try to understand how a normal list view works in Android. To keep it very simple, let us get started with list of items that we want to display in the screen of Android app. The list of items could be just Java objects and these Java objects could be array of strings or collection of strings and even for that matter collection of custom Java objects like say person. Now the question is how do you bridge the gap that a list of objects could be visually shown in the screen. To break it down for lack of better term we need to carry out some kind of a data transformation which will help us to convert a list of objects into a list of views or in other terms non UI elements into UI elements. Elements. To do that in the programming parallels we use something called as adapter. If you think it is very complicated concept I will break it down for you. Assume that you have a USB type connector then you want to connect to a, a holder which has a type C connection. You basically use a, some kind of a adapter that helps you to connect a USB C type to a normal USB connector. The connector here is the adapter and that is exactly what we will be doing in our case as well. So we shall see this through a demo. I have created an application called as recycle view demo. In this I have a, a simple activity. In the main activity the layout looks pretty simple. I have list view. This list view I want to use to display some kind of data and in the strings.xml I have basically defined some string arrays like names, last names and gender and nationality and if you go back to the code I have a class called as app utility which basically reads content from strings.xml file and converts this into an array of names, last names, genders and nationalities. So that in the main activity all that I need to do is call an app utility dot get names and it will give me the array of names. And if you observe the code here it is pretty simple. I have created an instance of list view, initialized the instance of the list view and then I have an instance of array adapter. This is the inbuilt androids adapter that helps you to represent the array of strings. This is names adapter and this is how you instantiate a names adapter that is you first pass context then layout that array adapter should use to implement individual items in the list view. This is how the view looks like. It is a very simple text view. Then you need to pass array of strings that you want to display in this particular list view. Once you initialize the adapter, you have to set that particular adapter to the list view and that's it and it will work perfectly fine. So let me run this and you can just observe that I was able to get all the items from the string.xml file and instead of get names, I can do get last names and just run this and you will see last names. And what if you are not happy with default layout that you get? You can modify that. For example, I have another layout called as custom default list item and here what I have done is changed the text color to blue dark and I can use that. So what I will do is r.layout.custom default items and let me rerun this and you can see that now the text is coming in blue color. Instead of using just normal array of strings, what if I had get people which was returning me list of person. You can see that this is a compilation error. So let's go back. In the demo what we did is we basically used the list of strings or the array of strings to show the items in the screen. But what if instead of having string array we had a little bit more complicated data type which is a collection of Java objects which are not strings. In that case the view needs to change. The normal adapter will not work. That is where we have to implement our own adapter. We shall see this in the the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye